Okay, so I would like to take a second to uh, discuss ride height. Ride height on a chassis is the measurement from the rear cross member to the track surface and the front cross member to the track surface. So ride height is a, a different measurement than four link or bar location or heights from the bottom bar. So the, the specific ride height is an independent measurement. Right, and it's real simple. Uh, when we discuss ride height, doesn't matter whose chassis it is, it's always the number from the bottom of the rear cross member to the track surface. So it's this number right here, which, you know, if you're looking at that, would be five inches, whatever that is. I mean, we have this up on jacks now, but obviously this is done with the uh, car on the ground, tires set to the right pressure, all the weight, fuel, everything in the car, race ready, race ready. You can check it with the driver in the seat or the driver out of the seat. We do it both ways. Um, you will find a little difference from side to side when, with, depending on the weight of the driver. Some drivers are 150 pounds, they won't make it much of an effect, but a heavier driver will obviously pull that side down just a little bit. So we just simply reach through the wheel opening here with the body on it and we'll measure from the ground to the bottom. And then with the on the front ride, it goes from the bottom of the front frame rail down to the track surface. You have to, you'll do that with the front end off. Um, nice flat surface. Most tracks have a, a measuring pad or, or, uh, or you can do it on the scale or you can even do it on the uh, back door of your trailer or inside the trailer. Anywhere it's got to be flat, no fall, and you want to record that number because uh, ride height changes are important. Um, front ride height changes move the crank center line up and down so that changes the, uh, uh, the weight percentage of CG in the car, moves up and down. Same way with the rear. Um, rear ride height changes will affect the center of gravity car and on a car that has static four link bracket which is this is what i'm calling a static four link bracket it has um, it's a non-adjustable four link bracket so this um, by non-adjustable i mean it doesn't have the sliders here okay so we have a, a a very smooth adjustable four link bracket that has sliders here so you can get incremental adjustments with ride height because you have to move this between one hole and another and you have a large space um, you can use the ride height to get in between there so because the four link in the car is going to be measured from the center of this bolt to the track surface to make a small move in the bar change um, you can move this one hole but then change the ride height on the chassis to, to get this number back right so um, I'll discuss that more in the four link settings but ride height is very important to determine um, a number that you go by so you can log it along with all the other data in the car. So rear ride height, rear cross member to the track surface, front ride height from the bottom of the uh, frame rail to the track surface. So if you have any questions, give us a call.